I spoke to the executive earlier in the year. I did have concerns with the consultation draft, which came to the executive. My concerns related to the possible scope uh, of the future order and the activities <coughs> the order would, um, would, which would target. Since then, I have talked to residents uh, within the town centre, I've discussed the issues uh, outlined in the earlier report uh, with, uh, with police officers. So, I, I, so to understand the powers <coughs> that, that they already have and how those powers are effective or ineffective in solving the antisocial behaviour that we see in the town centre. I have spent Saturday afternoon uh, with the police. Uh, you kindly uh, showed me around what they have to deal with and I'm very grateful for them and I wish to say thank you much for that. This gave me a very clear understanding of the issues they have to face. In my discussions with the police, we've talked about, present, about the present powers and their effectiveness. Interesting to find out, for example, and it was uh, quite enlightening to me that uh, a simple banning order actually takes absolute months of work on police time to achieve. Not uh, hours or weeks, but it can take absolutely months. So that was a, uh, I was quite enlightened about that. I've spoken with the street, the, uh, street drinkers, who seemed organised as a group, switching from begging to drinking, back to begging when the, when the need is required. There is a side to them, I have to say, that, that the public do not see. And after speaking to them, it was very clear to me um, what they're about. I have to be honest, I was surprised by the amount of drug-related material that one could find in the various hideaways around the back of the shops. And uh, as has always been pointed out tonight, the needles and syringes that are around that area is quite disgusting actually and totally unacceptable. Amongst all this antisocial behaviour though, there are people who are generally in need of help. And I think, I think they are supported but what's in the officer's report tonight. How one separates out those who are in need of support and those who are causing problems is a real challenge for the multi-agency support network we have in Ferrum, and they do a fantastic job. However, we shouldn't be in any delusion. There are some services like mental health that are, are under-resourced, so directing people you know, to those support services is not just challenging, but sometimes impossible. I do have concerns with non-police officers dealing with such persons as street drinkers. Um, in my short time with the police in the town centre, it was clear to me that some of these people are completely unpredictable. And what concerns me is people uh, dealing with these without the necessary skills. It, that, that does really concern me. Looking at the proposals ordered on page 15 of the officer's report, I do believe the order is measured and proportional to the problem within the town centre. And therefore, looking at, looking at that draft, I fully support that. And that's what I think. Yeah, thank you very much, thanks for coming up. It's good to see somebody who's become so enlightened about the process and supporting our rationale for why we started this process months ago.